and welcome to my September favorites. I love watching these on YouTube. Love, love, love. So I thought I'd make one. Um, I don't have a ton of favorites this month, to be fair. We've been very busy, um, but I wanted to share my favorites with you. My first favorite is Thomas. No, I'm kidding. He is my July favorite. My first September favorite is our new house. Should I move it so he can be seen? <laughs> Um, my first favorite is our house. We moved on September 24th of this month. Yep, that September 24th would be of this month. We moved on September 24th and I am so in love with our space. Um, it's beautiful and it's so open and I just love it and I feel so thankful to not only be here but for everyone who helped us move and all that really cheesy stuff. So loving it and it's definitely a favorite. Is this your video? You're very distracting. Second favorite goes along with dealing with this nugget and the move. It's iced Americanos. We just purchased a fairly inexpensive espresso machine. It does nothing else other than just make espresso shots and two of those in ice water and I'm good to go. So my next favorite is kind of connected to the iced Americanos because it's on one right now, but I bought these beautiful, well, I think they're beautiful, um, coasters from HomeSense and I did a little haul on Snapchat, so if you follow me there you probably saw them, but I love them and I just think they are so useful and they make me want to use coasters, so I mean, even Kevin likes them. I figure when the husband likes them, they're a win. So my next favorite is attached to this guy right now, actually. It's this glitter and spice teething, <laughs> can I have it? Can I have it? teething rope, so it has these little balls on it. I got this as a gift from my friend Jen of Prairie, Prairie Girl in the City. I got it at one of my shower, at my shower, and I attach it to his little soother here, and it's so handy because it clips to him, so I don't have to remember it. So it's handy in that his soother, when he drops it, it doesn't fall. But the reason that it's a favorite for September is Thomas actually started um, teething just at the end of August, so at nine weeks, and he's 12 weeks now. And he already has a little bottom tooth peeking up, so he... And it's hard because when he was nine weeks, he definitely didn't know how to use a teething ring. So I just take two of these, and I press it on the little tooth when he's fussy. And it's really been great. And I know I've been suggested so many different teething options, and, uh, and I'll definitely explore those. But for now, especially with him being so young, well, I feel like it was young for his teething to start. I know it happens at all different ages. I just wasn't expecting it so quickly, um, that this was just such a savior. So I really appreciate that I got this at my shower. And uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully I'll, I'll be adding a teething ring to the end of this soon and he will know how to use it which would be nice can you say hi can you say hi hi can you say hi oh oh a little burp but that's that's a nice greeting and drool too huh really oh okay good boy i feel like my positioning keeps changing <laughs> keep dealing with him so every time I feel like I have a new favorite show you'll be like in a different position on the camera my next favorite is a mascara I was very loyal to the L'Oreal voluminous volume mascara for a while my only um, problem with that one is it didn't actually last a long time throughout the day then I switched to the benefit roller lash love that one but I just found the tubes actually didn't last that long um they dry out I don't know but I was recommended the Tarte Tartist I love it uh, I don't have a lot of eyelashes. I just think it, it lasts long. It doesn't flake. Uh, the price point is, I mean, it's Sephora. So it's, you know, that mid-range mascara price. It's, uh, and yeah, I really like it. My next favorite is the Milkshake Silver Toning Shampoo. It uh, was recommended to me by my hairdresser. Uh, she just put in some balayage, balayage. She put in some highlights and... I wanted something a little less gold, and so she recommended that. And my only warning is I dyed my hair purple the first time I used it. I'm sorry, it recommends three to five minutes. So I thought, hey, I'll be safe, three minutes. No, I, I don't need the three minutes. My hair just like, <sighs> maybe, is that does that mean my hair's dry? I like to think it's because my hair is very good at accepting color and easy to, to dye. 
No, probably dry. All right, well, either way, use with caution. It obviously, the purple washed out, but just throwing it out there. Play safe. My next favorite is a bit of a pricier one. Hey. I know, baby, you gotta give me a minute, okay? Can you give me a minute? Just a minute, I'm almost done. Sunday Riley Good Jeans uh, Treatment. It says it brightens, exfoliates, plumps lines, and evens hyperpigmentation and increases circulation for instant radiance. So I have a tough time recommending skincare because everyone's skin is so different. So I'm, I mean, I'm 34 and you know, when I was pregnant, I developed these little freckles at the bottom of my dark circles. And so not only do I have darker circles cause I'm, you know, a little tired all the time. I have allergies, but I have these like freckles at the bottom now. And so it like extends them. So I was hoping to kind of help that a bit. I got a sample of the Sunday Riley Good Jeans in the Sephora, skincare like favorites kit that I ordered and I i had been wanting to try the good jeans for so long but it is a little pricier and I didn't want to spend the money and then I just loved the sample and it really did I felt like I feel like it worked for my skin I mean maybe not I felt like I saw a difference now Sephora you can return things from what I understand I've never done it personally so if you can't get a sample and this is something they're willing to return. I do recommend giving it a shot if you can, but I don't know if Sephora has limitations on what you can return. I don't know, but I really like it. So it is my one, it's one of my favorites now. So that is it. Thank you for watching. Uh, can you say thank you? Oh, I bored him. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Say bye. He can't say bye yet. Bye.